You wanna know something awesome? Think of the color yellow. You are now thinking of the color yellow. Congrats. Isn't that awesome? I think it is. Yeah, that that's about as best as an intro you're gonna get out of me. Welcome back to Cave Colonization episode 51. In the last episode, we killed the Ender Dragon and there was no building. So in this episode, we're gonna have the first ever Cave Colonization mega episode or something where we build not one, not two, but three builds. And this might end up being a really long video. I, I don't know, it depends on how much I actually keep in. The heater just came on and jump scared me. To cut down on editing time, let's get down there ASAP. All right, we are right here across from the farm. It's over there. And as you can see, we have some beautiful polished diorite blocks marking our builds and i didn't realize how close to the edge this is so this might end up being a little bit awkward and yes i've already utilized shulker boxes so yeah having these has already been a blessing so yeah so i just said like so yeah a bajillion times it's like 10 at night and i have been playing minecraft all the live long day so i am incredibly tired right now I mean, it's different from when i was in the from being in the... Dude, I literally cannot put two words together. I mean, I can, but they're not words that fit together. It's different from how I record in the morning. If possible, I'm even more tired. I genuinely don't know what I'm doing, so I need to pull up my screenshots ASAP. But I will do my best to make this into watchable content, and who knows, depending on how long this um, is, I may end up just cutting out most of it. In fact, that is actually probably what is going to happen. I'm not going to say back to what I was saying, because I don't think I was actually saying anything... Yeah, I'm just gonna end the sentence there. I don't think I was actually saying anything. But there's gonna be three builds, as I said, mega episode. So this build that I'm building right now is going to be the carpenter's shop. It's gonna be a village square, basically. There's going to be three shops, one of which I am building right now, even though I'm just right now, I'm just AFK because I'm checking my screenshots because I'm dumb and did not look to see how to build the build that I'm building. So once again, that is brilliant play by me. I just, I just said that phrase again. Like, I was consciously saying it, and then like halfway through saying it, I was like, Th there's that phrase again. I'm saying it. What the hell is wrong with me? Um, did I say there was gonna be three shops? I don't know. Okay, well, three shops, two shops, and a little fountain in the middle. But that one over there is going to be a smithing shop. I know we already have one of those on like the first floor, and I think the second floor even has its own, maybe? You know, it, it's fine. Just to prevent monopolies from existing, we can go with multiple... Why did I say it like that? We can go with multiple shops for professions. Yeah, this is... Somebody's telling me this is gonna be a long episode. Yeah, obviously, but I meant like long to record for me. Uh, it, it's, it's already going pretty not well. And then that is not going to be a shop. That one's going to be a tavern. Cause you know, we, we need a tavern in a village square. Yeah, due to the amount of like footage that is going to be in this video, probably the majority of this rambling I'm doing right now won't make it in. I'll include this section of rambling so you know that a lot of rambling has already been cut out. For some reason, making two story buildings is always a bit of a struggle for me. But you know, it's fine. It's all, it's all in the name of entertainment and who doesn't like watching somebody be stupid? This is the shape of the building. Um, I'm gonna build the roof now, so I'm gonna pause the recording for that. Cause this is a cave colonization, you know, we, we don't show roof building, not in this building series. Yeah, I'll see you when it's over. Right, I'm back. And right now I can see that there's a, a stair missing here. Thankfully I have one more. Brilliant. It has a little bit of an interesting design over here, but eh, who cares? Right, now I get to do the fun stuff, which is mine out this floor. Okay, to be honest, that's not really what I meant when I said fun stuff. So over here, we have more dark oak. I'm just going to use slabs because these builds are going to be very, very dark oak wood intensive. So I want to save as much as I possibly can. Uh, it looks like I'm not going to have enough, which is unfortunate. So I'm going to have like one spare dark oak plank. Wow, that's amazing. And it also sucks. Let's just place down some shulker boxes. I genuinely do not know what I just grabbed from this slot. But over here is going to be like the main work area. So it has an andesite floor. It actually is supposed to have andesite stone and polished andesite, but I didn't bring stone because I'm dumb and did not realize that it was meant to have stone. So now it's just andesite and polished andesite. So because it's a carpenter, it's gonna have like a lot of wooden stuff. So over here is going to be like a work table as in crafting table. I forgot to put the windows in, but that's fine. I can do that later. On this side, we're going to have the famed corner bush. Let me just get my leaves. 
Ta-da. And then a block I've never used before, scaffolding. I don't think I've ever crafted this before. And you know, a beehive, because why not? It's it's wooden, okay? We'll put a lantern here. Proper lighting source for this build. There's a little bit of a gate here, like this, ta-da. And then there's a couple of wooden scraps and stuff on the ground. He's, he's a very messy worker, this guy. There we go, that's the work area done. So if we turn around over here, we have a chest which goes right here. I just realized that I used my crafting table and not the one I brought with me. I mean, they're both crafting tables. It doesn't really matter, but that's just something I did. Where's this lantern go? I think it goes above the door right there. Speaking of doors. Okay, and over here we have an item frame. No, no, not there. An item frame with a wooden shovel. I think that's all for downstairs. So let's head upstairs, which I didn't finish properly yet. Okay, perfect. Let's put down the stuff up here. So we can put down the bed here. Some orange carpets, like so. Another corner bush. Let's actually chop the window out as well. I believe there's windows here and here. Another scaffolding right here. I did not leaf this corner bush. And we have two of them up here, of course. But the scaffolding is like an, a little table. You can just put that flower pot on it and boom, little table. Then here we have some bookshelves. Where is that one orange tulip go? Right, so this one goes over here with a little orange tulip in it. And then let's put in the windows. Ta-da! So I guess that's all for the interior then. Let's do some exterior work. So out here, he this guy is displaying his product. So over here we have a, a corner bush first and foremost. But we have another barrel, a scaffold, and our other beehive right here showing off some wares. So we've got a fence here, two fences here, two fences here. I believe there's two dark oak trapdoors right here. On this side, we have, I really wish I had like memorized the layout of like what I kind of put because it, it is really have, annoying to have it like go screen, go screenshot to screenshot. Oops, that one, of course, you know, of course it goes, flies inside. It is kind of annoying to have to go from screenshot to screenshot to just be like, oh, what the hell did I build? But you know what, it, it's fine. It's just more micro amounts of editing I have to do. I think there's supposed to be another slab right there. Let me just put one there. Boom. There we go. That's better. Okay, there's going to be more corner bushes over here. I guess they're not really corner bushes. They are exterior bushes since they're not really in a corner. My frustration of this is further multiplied by the fact that I'm using Discord to see my screenshots. And mobile Discord is... It's not the best app that I've ever used. It has some problems, especially with pictures. All right, there's this little back area, which just uses like a mixture of like coarse dirt, tough, and gravel as its ground. So I'm not gonna be like too precise or exact with this. I, I don't really care. But you know what is in here? You guessed it, another lantern. Also two barrels, some spare oak wood he's got, two spruce. And hmm, I think this area is done you know what yeah now it's done i did not bring enough bushes for this build yeah because one one goes up here i i'm sure to have miscounted by like four so that's a little bit unfortunate or maybe there just aren't some where i put some and okay this roof line is wrong i see it's a little bit awkward whoa nobody saw that once again, I'm having a full inventory, and I have previously shared my thoughts on full inventory. It's a pain in the ass. That's that's what it is. That's, those are my thoughts on full inventory. Right, there is supposed to be like corner bushes like up here. I keep saying corner bushes, but they're not they're not in the corners like here. But you know what? I don't have enough for that, but it's fine. I do need to get up here because there is some decoration over here. Yay. Okay, it goes like that, and then it's flanked by this amount of fences and then there is a shutter with this window right there the window keeps making weird noises i don't think it's supposed to be here and we have some fences over here and these tiny little gaps and then round front we have more fences i like fences as exterior decoration brilliant i have fallen there is like something like right outside the window so if this video never sees the light of day oh i just realized i still have the trip fire hook on me that, that just goes here okay the one lantern i believe goes right here okay the fences go over here i'm a numpty apparently and forgot to put them in also these three trap doors and that is all the exterior decoration besides the four um, bushes that should be up there which I miscounted. Typical DB production move. Last thing we need to do is put down a sign with its name. Right, the name of this building is going to be Casper's Carpentry, and then this, not that, this little design thing. 
The year is 1743. I didn't bring orange dye or glow to uh, make it stand out a little bit more. So that's a little bit unfortunate. So see you at the next build. All right, we're on to build number two. As I mentioned last night, this is going to be the tavern and it is going to be built out of mangrove planks. And I've never used mangrove planks before in cave colonization. Yeah, I didn't really mention it when I was building that, but I'm gonna be using some blocks that I don't really use a lot in the series or have never used before. And one of those such blocks is mangrove wood. I like mangrove wood, I think it's a nice color, but farming the trees is definitely a pain in the ass because when I was growing the trees, I didn't realize, well, if you've seen how they grow, then you know how they grow, but it's it's really inconvenient. I'm hoping I have enough mangrove wood. I might not, but I figured four stacks of planks would be enough, but I might be wrong about that, so we'll have to see. If I don't, uh, that's gonna be pretty unfortunate. Right, so this is going to be like the biggest building out of all three. The one I haven't built yet, the smith shop, is going to be the smallest. This one is the biggest, and it is a full two floors, so it should be relatively easy for my dumbass to build, but knowing me, I'll, I'll find a way to screw it up. Yeah, it looks like I'm not gonna have enough mangrove wood, but thanks to the power of editing and the fact that I can pause the video, it shouldn't be a problem. I can just go get more. It, it is a little bit of a pain. Right, I think this is the general structure done, so I'm gonna go down here and chop out some holes for the windows. So there's one here and there's one on the other side in the same spot. Around the side we have two here. Around the back there's just one. I actually just right clicked with the axe. I think I wasn't looking at a log. When you're holding an axe, right click is a dangerous game you're playing. I guess only really when logs are around. I should probably put the floor in the second floor honestly. Maybe I'll do that. Um, I just I just accidentally right clicked and now I have a stripped spruce log which is going to waste a slot in my inventory so that is that's that's uh, that is exactly what I didn't want to happen and there's a staircase so let's just build that why is it like keep freezing that should not be happening okay so one two and then the first stair is here like so get out of here and then I think this first block is just a block here yep I'm um, correct. So now that we have that, we can chop out the holes for a window here. So right here in the center, um, let me just guesstimate where the center is. I think it's right here. This should be right above the door. Yep. Okay. I think that's good. And then a window here. And I think that's all the windows on the second floor, honestly. Yeah, that's it. A lot, lot of windows, but it'll make sense as to why there is not that many soon, I hope. All right. So I'll run out of mangrove wood. So really quickly, I'm going to go fetch some more. All right. I'm back. I've got 14 more mangrove logs. So hopefully that's that's enough. Yeah, I think this is good for now. I'm just gonna build the roof really quickly. It shouldn't take me that long since it's really simple. Yeah, I'll get back to you when that is done. Alrighty, the roof has been finished and it is now time to turn to the interior. Right, and we're gonna start over here. So this building has a relatively simple floor. It's just kind of a checkerboard between spruce and dark oak. No stripped logs this time. Oh, we got some more lag. Let's go. That was a misplaced block by me. Let's go again. Now we have to hope I have enough bricks for this as well. So there's a brick layer that goes here, another one here. So let's build this oven. So we have a brick. I'm gonna try and save on bricks. So wherever there is not a brick, I'm gonna put like that. So this is like the kitchen area. Ow. Oh, I didn't know those actually hurt you. I'm, it makes sense. Uh, I'm just really stupid. So we do this and then one of these shulker boxes has a stone cutter in it. Please. Okay, I spoke too soon. One of these shulker boxes does not have a stone cutter in it. Where the hell did my stone cutter go? Okay, I have my stone cutter. Here he is. But this is going to be a large brick oven, in case that wasn't obvious. Um, I do tend to say really obvious things. Right, and this oven continues to the outside, so let's work on it there. It's kind of a large-ish chimney base outside here and i believe it goes like that yeah that looks about right and then there's one brick like that and then it goes up through here all the way up to the outside yeah wow that was a great water bucket clutch it really helped that the game froze at the exact moment i decided to fall down all right anyway let's put some windows in though and continue our work on this interior all right let's start with what i know where it goes so that would be the doors of course know where those go over here we have an item frame 
with a raw pork chop in it. And we can rotate that bad boy. It's really annoying how when I upload my screenshots to Discord, it rearranges the order I took them in. But we have some stripped logs that go here, so I don't have to worry about accidentally clicking with the axe again and accidentally creating a nightmare here there's a chest here there is a gate this is kind of like the i guess employee door and we have some fences sort of supporting the bar this is the bar in case that wasn't obvious and we can have some little chairs here we have another chest right here and cooking away on the oven is not going to be pizza unfortunately it's just going to be a cauldron okay uh this should not exist then And we have a cauldron. Where did it go? Here it is, with some water in it. They're making some kind of soup. It is blue soup because I don't think you can dye water in this version. At least I tried, so I may have done it wrong because I'm not the smartest when it comes to Minecraft. So anything's possible. But anyway, this is like the uh, the barrels of wine they have. I don't know why I said it like wine. Um, do I have lanterns? Yes, sir, I do. Of course I do. One goes above this door, um, and I'm probably not gonna be able to see the other ones because I don't take good pictures. But I can tell you is there is one over here. This place is looking a little bit bare, so we're just gonna go ahead and add a corner bush and we can put some leaves in. All right, I think that's it for the bottom floor. So we will ascend the staircase and this is going to be a couple of rooms. This is where I might not have enough mangrove wood again. This is a little bit unfortunate. Let's actually put in some decoration to help me. So we have some three high corner bushes here. I need to do the roof, but that'll be later. We can put some more glass paint in. I think I left my other shulker box downstairs. Silly, silly me. Uh, I'm gonna close this so no creepers can just walk in because they have been falling from the sky recently. I'm not sure when they grew wings, but they are suddenly airborne missiles now. So we have one room that's like here. And I'm not gonna put the walls up to there yet because I have another room to put here and I'm running a little bit low on mangrove again. All right, but anyway, over here, there should be some mangrove planks here, which is kind of a waste, but oh well. And we have a dark oak bush like this and then there is a mangrove plank above it with a lantern and this should be turned into a stair so it looks better there we go we have another door here um and let's head inside this room although first let's put the the door knocker on so we have a little button so in this room it's a very small two by three area we're just gonna have a bed a little bedside table and a flower pot and an azure bluette there's nothing blue about this flower i'm not sure why it's called a bluette but anyway we have another chest and a corner bush of course because you know can't have a room without a corner bush all right and then we're gonna have some dark oak like this which is going to be part of the ceiling and there's going to be a lantern right here okay Okay, these are in the wrong spot. They should be, there we go, that's better. And the last touch is a painting. There's like four of these, can I get the right one? There we go. Okay, that's one room done. So one more thing in this main lobby, we're gonna add something I call a Charizard shelf. If you know why it's called that, then you're a real one. If not, oh well. But we're gonna have a bookshelf and a flower pot with a poppy on it. And there's our Charizard shelf. We're going to add some stairs up here, which I promise it'll look better when everything's filled in. At least that's the hope. Let's just add these mangrove planks there. I severely underestimated the amount of mangrove wood I would need. Ma mango wood? Did I say mango wood? Mangrove wood that I would need, which is a little bit unfortunate. And there has to be some kind of lanterns in here. It looks like they should be up another block. Someone is not very smart here or did not take good pictures of their own build. And I think the person at fault is definitely not me i mean i would never do something so silly anyway let's do the last room so this room has the last window which i didn't know where it went and this is the last screenshot i took so naturally when i uploaded it to discord it put it at the very beginning all right so the window goes right here and we're gonna have another corner bush because of course we are we're gonna have four red carpet boom 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 bap no okay should i have it bap boom there we go that's better. Another stair with another flower pot and another flower, a red tulip this time. Put a red bed down here, boom. And next to the bed is a table with two candles and I've actually brought a flint and steel to light them. So yay me. And then we have another lantern. Oh, I forgot to put the gray carpet. There is a single gray carpet right here. And then the last painting, I think it goes here. And I think it's going to be that. All right, I believe that's everything for the interior done. All right, so let's head outside then and do some exterior work. So of course we're gonna have some corner bushes. Well, more more random game freezes. 
Okay, the decoration for this building is gonna be fairly simple. So we have a fence. We're gonna be doing this trapdoor thing again because I love trapdoors. Who doesn't love trapdoors? Okay, and we put this little frame thingy. More trapdoors as our window shutters, more stairs, and more fences. And the sign will go here, but we'll leave that for last. So let's go up. And up here, there's two more bushes right here with some more stairs. Wow. I'm, I'm really good at this game. With some more stairs, I go like this. I should stop saying like this. And we have a nice little bush in front of our large window, like that. Whoa, such, such descriptive words, like that. So we do the same thing on this side. And then over there, we have another shutter, another fence. I don't think that's a fence. I can't really see. So then we do the same thing over here with a stair, a fence, and a trap door. Okay, but only one. And that is, that's the front decoration done. Insane. So let's head around to the side. We're gonna have bushes under the window because, you know, this is me we're talking about. When do I ever not have bushes? So same thing with the fences and the stairs. I'm not very imaginative, so my decoration tends to stay the same throughout. So if we head up a little bit more, it's gonna be very, very similar and also very simple. Let's bring this across here. Again, I can't see anything because there's no light. Um, when I'm building these, I really do forget that I'm in a cave. Well, when I'm building these in my creative world so I can plan them out and I I rarely ever accurately plan light sources. I'm gonna be honest, this is a lot of recording very recently, and my brain just simply cannot handle it. I'm not much of a talker for an extended period of time, but you know what? It's all for the sake of content, so it makes it totally worth it. Moving right along, well, I tried to, but I tried to swipe on my, my Discord screenshots and it immediately did not what I wanted it to do, so... Epic. All right, again with this simple design, but here is gonna be something different. I do not think I brought the block I need with me. No, it's in a different shulker box, so for now I'm just gonna leave this. I thought I would be bringing all of my shulker boxes down with me, but apparently I was not, cause inventory space. Even though I have shulker boxes, you can't put shulker boxes in shulker boxes, which you probably knew if you've played Minecraft for any amount of time. But regardless, in the back here, we have this little extra bit where they, what the heck? Apparently there's a hole right here where the uh, tavern keeps some spare supplies. If I would stop like fumbling with every single block in my inventory, get out of here, Deep Slate. Nobody likes you. Actually, I like Deep Slate, but in this world, I have a, I have a much amount of it. A lot, a lot. They have some spare barrels and another giant cauldron bowl. So they serve two types of soup and they use a different bowl for each one or something. I don't know. They just have one in reserve in case the other one explodes randomly from overheating. Uh, I, th I almost just had a heart attack because I thought I stripped that log, but I actually placed the stair. Again, I, I can't see anything. So it's, it's gonna be a great video. I can already see that because no one's gonna be able to see anything. They're gonna be like, what, what is he doing? Is he placing blocks or what, what, what's, what's happening? I can't see. And yeah, bro, me, me neither. I also can't see. Gonna be honest, at this point, I'm literally just talking and I'm saying legitimately nothing. I, I shouldn't even be surprised, man. This happens with like every single video I record. Like it starts off strong. I have, no, it doesn't start out strong. I haven't had a good intro for a lot of episodes in a row, but yeah, there's there's the decoration in the back, but you can see of it. Yeah, I can't even say I start off strong. I just I just start and then it goes from there. Does it go very far? Eh, no, not really. But hey, it, in my defense, I, I don't really have a defense. Gonna be honest. Uh, to quote the uh, the famous mobile game ads, it's harder than you think. But maybe I'm just stupid, and maybe it's not. So yeah, don't don't take my word for it. I'm just a guy playing Minecraft really, really badly. But hey, you know what? Just hang in there, me. You're almost done. You've almost done it. You're so close to being finished. Like, I, c I can smell victory. Oh, I just remembered I have to build another entire building, so... Yeah, never mind. Uh, I think I'm missing a trapdoor because I now have three and I should have four. So yeah, another classic TV Productions play right there. Thankfully, I planned for this and brought lots of spare wood. Although it's honestly probably lying on the ground somewhere after I misplaced the block and broke it. You know what? In fact, I'm, I'm almost certain that's what it is. But am I going to be able to see it in the dark? If you are curious, which you probably aren't, but I am planning on actually adding lights to the ceiling, but that will be a future episode. Oh jeez, that bat scared me. I thought it was a spider gonna come attack me. Not that it really matters. 
Right, anyway, editing DB is really, really angry that I've been dragging this on for so long. Yeah, this is the tavern. I actually don't have a name for it, so if you watch this far in the video, uh, comment a name for it. Don't do it now, because I'm going to tell you what the whole square is called when I'm done. Watch to the end and decide, or well, I guess you could do it now if you have a, a kick-ass name. You'll, you'll be able to see more of what the square is actually going to look like, and I'll give it a proper name. But for now, let that just stew in your brain, as I will now move on to the third build. Alright, we're on to the last build. Well, kinda, because I will be doing a little bit more, but yes, as I said previously, this is going to be the uh, carpenter shop. Oh, uh, dude, it's been like five seconds in my quoting, I already failed. This is going to be the smith shop, sorry. I'm just going to build it and try to stay sane. Yeah, I'm just going to like build it and try to commentate like actual commentary, because I have failed the past two times. I am recording at night again, but I'm more awake this time than I was last time, so it shouldn't be as bad. It's not really that hard of a bar to um, meet and surpass, so it shouldn't be that hard to record an episode that sounds like I'm sane, but for some reason it is, and I have no idea why. I'm also just going to hope that this video records right, because my game keeps crashing whenever I tab out for some reason. That is a an interesting occurrence with this new computer. It has this issue where it tends to, to start crashing after I've tabbed out. Like I was playing earlier today and it was entirely fine with me constantly tabbing out, but right now it's decided, mm, nah, no tab outs for you. So that's kind of annoying, which means I can't check to see like if the recording pauses when I press pause. You, you would think that wouldn't be an issue, but for some reason it is. It sometimes it doesn't pause, which is very slightly annoying. Usually I can just like, if I just restart the computer, it's perfectly fine with me tabbing out again. So so it's kind of weird. It gets annoying right now. I'm gonna stop talking about it though. We're just kind of kind of building now and Discord is being really mean to my screenshots. And I said previously that there's already several of these built. I said one on the second floor, one on the first floor. Um, on the first floor, yeah, it's the tools, armor, weapons, place. And on the second floor, there's not really like a proper smith. There's just kind of Ivan's ironworks. If you would want to count that as proper smith, it's not really. It's just pure ironworks. But that's mostly what this one is as well, to be honest. There's like not really any other blocks. Yeah, so as I said, I'm going to try and sound competent for this video. But there might actually not be that much of me talking in it because that's going to be a lot more footage for me to edit. Oh, great gravel. The problem with having a good shovel is you tend to mine a lot more than you want to. I've already edited the first section. I did that earlier today, actually. Also, I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself for the floor here. Usually, I wouldn't do this until like after the roof is done, but I think it's necessary for me to get the floor plan out of the way because it's going to be easier to build this, the upper part. Because for some reason, I was like, well, I want to make this upper part entirely square which results in a really weird roof pattern and also a weird floor pattern. So that was probably not the best choice I could have made, but I made that choice. So now I have to stick with it. It's too late to go back now. As you might be able to imagine, I'm pretty tired. I've been playing Minecraft very much so this past week. And I like Minecraft, but not that much. There was a long period where I was like didn't play Minecraft and wouldn't really want to play Minecraft. I have kind of started playing the game a little bit more. I don't know, man. There's only so much Minecraft a man can play before it starts getting a little bit tedious, especially what I was doing in my Minecraft playing. And it ended up being like quite a lot of running back and forth between different builds, and that's not really fun. That's enough complaining. I think I've done this enough where I can build the upper floor. So let's put the floor floor on the second floor. I mean, like, you can say what you want about the part before this, the tavern, but I was talking to myself for literally an hour. Uh, well, I guess not really an hour, 40 minutes, because I wasn't talking during the roof building. I don't talk during the roof building. That's why I cut it out, because I'm not actually saying anything. I was running out of things to say, as you might have noticed in the video. I am not entirely sure what I'm doing here. Like I said, this is the way I built this upper part made it kind of weird because I wanted it to be square, right? How high up does this go? But you know what? I am proud of these builds. I, I think it's going to be pretty cool. This is a little bit ambitious, so I probably won't be doing this many builds in one video again. Oh, how did I do that? It's a misplaced block and a half. This is probably easily going to be the longest video so far. So that's, that's going to be really fun. And like I said, I edited a little bit of it, but there's going to be a lot to edit. And that is why I'm actually not recording this like two days before it's meant to go up. I did plan ahead and give myself a little bit more time to record this, so... 
Um, and I misplaced the glass. Brilliant. Well, that's why I have a silk touch pick. Imagine I broke that with not the silk touch pick. I would be very upset. Right, I think that's about as far as I can get without doing the roof. So I'm gonna really quickly do that and I'll get back to you once that has been done. For the third time this episode, editor, insert another jump cut, please. Pretty sure the roof is done now. Pretty sure, it, but knowing me, it's probably not. It's time to go to the interior now, and my inventory is a mess once again. Brilliant. Let's put some doors in real quick. So we have our front door and our back door. And I already did the floor, so we're good on that. So because this is a smithing shop, it's gonna have a big-ass furnace. Well, it's gonna attempt to have one. As I stand AFK, scrolling through my screenshots, trying to find the right one, which is conveniently the last one in the list. So down here is going to be campfire in the hole like that. Next to this campfire, there's going to be a blast furnace and a normal furnace, kind of in weird positions, but I don't care. Uh, so that's the furnace done. So we can start putting some more stuff. So first of all, we can put some lanterns. We've got an anvil because of course we have an anvil. It's kind of necessary. I don't have item frames. Huh, that's bizarre okay then i'll worry about that a little bit later over here we have in the window so you can see in we have an armor stand with a full set of iron armor ivan ain't got one of these in his shop i'm pretty sure then over here we have a cauldron with a bucket of water because you know you have to take stuff out of the hot fire and put it into the water to cool it off really quickly just gonna get some item frames so one goes above here and one goes over here and they just have some iron tools in them so i believe this one is an axe and this one is a sword in this corner we of course are going to have a corner bush same with this corner but it's only going to be one high because there's a slab there um, this hole is in the wrong spot it should be here so the ladder to the upper floor it can be called a floor is there and then there's this table a flower pot with a pink tulip in it and that is it for the downstairs area so we head upstairs there's really not that much room in this floor so all we can put is a bed and that would be all but I have an ace at my sleeve. Well, some people wouldn't call this an ace, but I do. So we can put a lantern up here to give some light. And then above the bed, put some trap doors, a dark oak log. I'm sure you can see where this is going. And a corner bush. Boom. It's still in the corner, so it still counts, but it's a little bit of a tight squeeze being above the bed. And we have another flower. This is the uh, upstairs quote unquote area. It, has, it does have a window, so. And it's not a bad view for once. You can actually see a decent amount. It doesn't like stare right at a wall. I believe that is everything in the interior. I could do with the lantern over here. So thankfully I just have a bunch of spare lanterns. So I'll put one above the door. All right, let's head outside then. This decoration is gonna be fairly simple. I built all of these in the creative world on the same day. So when I came to this build, I was pretty uh, creatively exhausted. So yeah, I, I opted to go with uh, simple decoration, which is mostly just just walls um, like this. It is pretty simple. Uh, it's not outlandish decoration. I don't even like it that much, but this is this is what I went with, so I have to deal with it now. But you know what we can do? We can put some bushes outside just to make it look a little bit nicer. But there is supposed to be a lot more to this furnace. It is supposed to like come out one block more here, but I can fill that in later. Um, I missed a slab here, ah, dumbass. But up here we have a chimney because you know it makes sense. Like there's a furnace in there. It makes sense. There's gonna be smoke pouring out of the top of this building. And just finishing off this decoration. Is there anything next to this back door? No, but there is just some like blocks of stuff just sitting here, including a couple of iron blocks, a gold block, which, you know, it's, it's not iron. So that means Ivan doesn't stock it. Um, I'll probably like clean this out and put like a, maybe a fence around here. Very secure wares, but the people of the cave colonization town are very nice. They're not big on stealing, so they, don't do it and you can get away with crap like this. And of course my last bit of decoration for the bottom half is just bushes. Book a torch and it's very dark. I do really need to get some better lighting fixtures up in here. Up here is just really simple. It's just fences and then some trap doors. Like I said, um, my creativity was fried at this point. So I was just like, oh, what's something that looks semi-decent? And I came up with this. You literally can't see what I'm doing right here, but it's fine. I'm not sure if it manages to be semi-decent, but I mean, I guess it doesn't look horrible. All right, and around back, I did miss three bushes. There should be some bushes back here. Oh no, I'm out of spruce wood. Whatever will I do? Psych, I have four more stacks. I overpacked a lot of wood because I know how much I underpack. So I guess really then the last thing to do for this building is also to put down a sign. So this building is going to be called Casper's, no, no, 
I already did that one. I'm stupid. Wait, hang on. Let me do a second take. So this is called Sage's Smithing. Um, does that say Smithing? I can't see. And this one is 13... Not 13, 1735, I believe. It was established a whole nine years before, or eight years, sorry. Right, 43 minus 35 is eight, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. Unless I'm really stupid, which, yeah, it's, hey, it's late at night. Okay, I might be. I did bring glow. Boom, so you can actually read this one. Uh, I should probably like put a, maybe get rid of this wall and put a lantern here. I'll make it fancy and put it on top of the wall. There we go, perfection. Right, I've said right, as my transition like a billion times now and it's getting really old but that is all three of the main buildings built so as you can see i still have to do this area i'm gonna try and use replay mod again for this hopefully it turns out well and if it does you'll see it in the video and if it doesn't then i'll have to record like an extra bit whatever happens i'll see you right after i guess whatever happens Well, that was a long video. Before I end it here, I just want to point out a couple things that I have fixed. Firstly, the carpenter's sign now has its orange dye and glow. The tavern has all its mangrove wood in place, so it's complete now. And I didn't do anything to this area because I forgot, so that'll have to be in between episodes. But this is the completed product. So this whole area is called Copperville Square, as I'm sure you've seen from the title, because that's when I'm going to title the episode. Its name comes from this glorious high effort copper fountain I have created in the middle. So remember to comment a name for the tavern, and if you made it this far, then I just want to say thank you. This was a very long episode. To prevent it from getting any longer, I'm just going to say thank you for watching. Remember to like and subscribe and all that stuff. And I will see you in the next episode, which will not be as long as this one. So, goodbye.